Uh, yeah, so I'm going to talk um, about features um, we are delivering in uh, 238 from the tracker team. Um, and um, as always, the full set of features can be found on, on uh, the release notes. Uh, so have a look at the release notes for the for the complete picture and also for links to the documentation and different uh, um, uh, other information about uh, about the features I'll go through today. Um, so for two three eight tracker has been about um, about data matrix codes uh, and I'm going to get a little bit more into the data matrix codes not um, not giving it the uh, uh, proper full explanation of how it works in the LMS log logistics use case um, that uh, I would defer to Breno and George, um, who is setting up a demo uh, that will be much more uh, complete and informative about how to use um, DHS uh, for data matrix codes. Uh, but I will mention a little bit about how, how to build them and what functionality we have uh, introduced. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to get much into the um, performance um, improvements and features in this um, demo, uh, but um, we have been working hard on improving uh, improving the uh, performance of uh, DHS once again. Um, some features uh, going into 238 only, and some uh, some benefiting also el older versions. Uh, one of the main main benefits in 238 when it comes to performance is that uh, the new tracker importer is um, is now uh, being used uh, uh, wider it's being used by the capture app uh, for uh, for um, uh, importing events and um, and tracker data and and uh, we think that will have a positive uh, performance uh, impact we're also building a new feature uh, that wasn't quite ready for uh, release um, in 238 um, that uh, would help building indexes on the database. Um, but we have added uh, some, um, some, uh, uh, so, some documentation on how this feature can be used from the back end um, in the um, documentation about running uh, the uh, high volume tracker, uh, tracker implementations. Um, we have also <clears throat> uh, now added the uh, support for tracker working lists, full support for tracker working lists in the capture app. Um, and one of the things we are most excited to show you is that the capture app is now uh, doing, um, is now available in continuous release. And um, you can install the latest version of the capture app from the app management app. Um, to always stay up to date with the uh, fixes and features. Um, and uh, this is possible uh, only after upgrading to 238. Uh, one of the main features, uh, one of the things we are most um, excited about in this new app is that after you upgrade, you will have access to um, trying the new version of the capture um, that also contains tracker functionality. Uh, this is an opt-in that you can um, uh, that you can turn on in the capture app after upgrading, uh, and uh, <clears throat> it's uh, it's a way of uh, testing the new functionality on your configuration and giving us feedback um, feedback about what um, what works and, and what might uh, need improvement or fixing from our side. Um, so I'll get into all of these things uh, later. But first of all, um, we're going to have a look at the data matrix um, from the web perspective. Um, 